Almost live from the point of Saginaw on Washington streets in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Depot, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly into your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. Everybody, it's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> it is Sunday here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. Welcome to this edition of Cafe Devo for October 29th, 2023. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. You all know my sidekick, Bugsy. He's hanging out over there in his spot doing what he normally does. And I hope your Sunday is going well and that you have either worshipped with us at First Congregational Church or you're getting ready to do so. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Once again today, we return to the book Truth for Life. It was written by one of my favorite preachers, Alistair Begg. This is the second volume of Pastor Begg's collection of daily devotions, copyright 2022, The Good Book Company. First John 3, verse 8. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. By grace, every believer in Christ has been transferred from the domain of darkness into the kingdom of God and his beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Colossians 1.13. We live in this world now as children of light and endeavor to bear the fruit of that light. Ephesians 5 8 and 9. Yet as glorious as this might be, we know that darkness is not yet fully eradicated from our lives. The truth is that everyone who becomes a citizen of Christ's kingdom is caught up in a cosmic conflict of eternal significance. Praise the Lord. The evil one has been powerless to prevent God's adopted children from knowing salvation. But having tasted that measure of defeat, he now seeks to do everything in his power to prevent us from living as true heirs of the Father's eternal kingdom. The devil is totally committed to disrupting and destroying what it means for us to be imitators of God, Ephesians 5.1, and to walk as children of the light, Ephesians 5.8. His one great aim is to stop you from trusting Jesus, to knock you off the narrow road before you reach the gates of glory. We should not ignore the alarming terms which Scripture used to describe the devil and the urgent terms in which we are urged to withstand him. Peter urged us to be sober-minded and watchful because our adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. 1 Peter 5, 8. The devil is real and a vicious enemy. He trades in doubt, division, and destruction. He comes at us both morally and intellectually with the ferocity of a supernaturally empowered monster. He seeks to maul us and shred our faith to pieces. What is a Christian to do? when faced with such a vicious enemy? The good news for us is this. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Though he may still prowl, his defanging has already begun, and ultimately he will be cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20.10 Defeat is certain for the devil and for the demons and those who follow him. And through Christ, victory over him is yours. In Christ, God has given us the spiritual power to stand against the schemes of the devil. Ephesians 6.11 He offers us indestructible armor in the gospel and his very word as our sword. Verses 11 and 17, Ephesians 6 When you fall, you will be forgiven. The devil has no power over you. 
James put our charge succinctly. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4, 7. So where is the battle for you today? Is it against a particular sin or a certain trial? Take up the means of grace God offers you in Christ, including your company of fellow soldiers, your local church. By simply believing the gospel, you will force the prowling lion into retreat. For more on this, go to the New Testament book of 1 John, chapter 3, verses 7 through 10. O oh Lord, you are victorious, and rejo we rejoice in that. Help us, Father, to remember that. Remind us every day that you have won. Your victory is secured and can never be pulled away. Thank you for that knowledge, Lord. Thank you for what you did on our behalf. Bless us today. Help us as we gather to worship you, and may your name be lifted up. Thank you for Sunday. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, that'll do it for us on this Sunday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks so much for joining me. I want to remind all of you that First Congregational Church gathers for worship today at 10 a.m., depending on what time you push the start button on this edition of Cafe Devo. I hope you've either worshiped or are getting ready to do so. If you missed it, go over and check out the uh, live stream recording and join in worship in that way. For this is the Lord's Day, and it is fitting that we would worship Him. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.